Let's scrounge materials and do a rough layout for this Leonard project while I wait for my machine to warm up. I don't have a lot of time today. I'm gonna opt for this clear acrylic over here. I think this is a good size block for our project and I'm gonna do two so that I can make changes on one and then swap out components, always have a spare. You might think cast acrylic's a little bit ridiculous for a low energy nuclear reaction project, but actually this is good because it'll insulate the water and we can take temperature measurements. We're not trying to like melt steel with this project. We're just taking temperature data. Here's our piezo. There's a meme out there about hoarding old junk and I get it, you should not hoard stuff, but when you're an electrical engineer and you have an R&D firm, you have to hoard some stuff. This little spool right here is perfect and I threw out an entire box of this type of stuff. Now I can't find another empty one. I'll just go with this for now, just for show. All right, wire in, wire out. Custom cord grip in, custom cord grip out. Let's add a pressure transducer, we'll put him over here. I think there's gonna be a little bit of extra room for a port to come down here because we've got our wire adjustment over here. Here's a sparger for our process gas and this one's 10 micron. We can go down to like two micron. We'll put the sparger beneath our target here so that the bubbles can go up in close proximity. And we may put a baffle on top of that so that the bubbles aren't in direct contact with the target but they could diffuse in. 